Okay, what we have here is a 7M GTE out of a 92 Toyota Supra. We'll be talking about how to time the motor, including the CPS. Basically, first you want to start off by removing the cover. And to remove the timing gear cover, you want to go ahead and remove the neck for the thermostat. Also, remove the remover, just, you know, move aside the um, power steering reservoir because the CPS would actually sit over here and this would usually block it from moving out when you want to go ahead and time it. I've also gone ahead and took off the, the top hose of the coolant line for the turbo since it was kind of blocking my CPS. So basically, um, you want to go ahead and get zero on the crank. See my front timing mark right here. And also in the back here, that's at zero. You also want to make sure that your gear is on the top, both sides. And you basically want to match that up, I don't know if you can see it all that well, with the notches in the back plate on both sides. If your motor is basically brand new and you're trying to figure out timing like you just removed the timing belt, you want to make sure that you remove spark plug number one and make sure that the piston is at the top, not at the bottom. Usually you might want to look with a flashlight. I usually use a screwdriver that'll just fit right in there and I'll let it sit and while I turn the crank down here you'll see the you'll see the uh, screwdriver going up and down and usually when you hit zero here you want to see this up top okay once you've done that I'm gonna go ahead and take your CPS now timing for this is a little hard only because when you try and put it inside the gear would usually move and that's what a lot of people's problems are but basically here you have just a regular CPS you want to look at the top and you'll see a notch on the housing side this notch right here you want to match that up and turn the gears you can kind of feel it click a little bit until you just match uh, match these two right here there's, there's other ones but this other one is just the pin that holds the gear it runs on each side but you just want the hole the one with the hole and the notch on the CPS and once you have that in basically you just want to go ahead and uh, get this out of the way here Okay, so basically, you just want to go ahead and take that CPS once it's at zero. Just like that. And you want to just carefully put it in without moving the gears. And also, when you put it in, the little, you want to make sure that the hole on the head where the 12 bolt goes to is sort of pretty much um, centered at the um, at the uh, the CPS because you can actually tw the, you twist the CPS to get the timing done. So just carefully put it in. You got to kind of wiggle it, but make sure that it's straight. Usually you don't have to wiggle it when you put it in straight. Um, and also you'll have a hard time putting it in if the gears don't match inside the head and then the CPS just like that. Once you're there, you just pretty much push it in. And once you're kind of there, you just put this uh, 12 bolt in. Not really, don't tighten it yet, but you just want it tight enough to where the CPS won't come back out because you'll need a, right now the motor is basically at zero. So that's basically how you time it. Now, once for, 
for example, you put everything back together. Once everything's back together, you want to start the car um, and go to your ignition, uh, your diagnostic box, I mean. And you want to go ahead and, like, you're checking for codes, you want to go ahead and jump um, uh, E1 and TE1, which is kind of this one right here in the middle, and this one all the way at the far. You can see that the grease is already gone from me checking my codes. That basically sets your motor for timing. So once you have the timing gun hooked up, you want to go ahead and look down at the crank. And while you're doing that, you want to take the CPS and then just move it. Move it just like that. See how it just kind of comes back and forth? And move it until you get to number 10 on this side. You'll see this mark. Make sure you match it up with the 10 TDC. And once you're done with that, go ahead and tighten that 12 bolt. And you're pretty much good to go. So that's how you time a 7M GTE. Basically, it's the same for NA, except you have the distributor over here instead of a CPS. But they're the same thing. You have a mark. You have the... You know, the timing's the same way, and it's all the same. So, good luck to you.